The Lockheed L-1011 TriStar was one of the defining aircraft of the early widebody era and the third twin-aisle jet to enter service. It followed the Boeing 747 and the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, with 250 units being produced. While the type saw its last scheduled passenger operations in 2008, are there any of these aircraft still active? To answer the main question of this video, one remains active today. Indeed, the only active Lockheed TriStar left in the world is a nearly 50-year-old L-1011-100, which bears the American registration November 140 Sierra Charlie. This aircraft has had an interesting career since its first flight in February 1974. A month later, it was delivered to its first user, Air Canada. As pictured here, the aircraft bore the registration Charlie Foxtrot Tango November Juliet during its time at Air Canada. This period ultimately ended in October 1990, after more than 16 years of service at the Canadian flag carrier. Following this, it underwent a 19-month operational hiatus, but then found a second lease of life elsewhere. Indeed, in May of 1992, the aircraft was re-registered as November 140 Sierra Charlie when it was acquired by the Orbital Sciences Corporation. Rather than continuing to be used to fly paying passengers on a commercial basis, Orbital instead opted to convert the trijet to serve as none other than an airborne launch pad for Pegasus rockets. Following this conversion, the first launch using the jet took place in 1994 and involved a Pegasus XL rocket. According to Northrop Grumman, such rockets are used to deliver satellites into orbit. The company explains that they are deployed from the L-1011 over the open ocean at an altitude of approximately 40,000 feet. The rockets typically ignite after five seconds of freefall, after which it takes them just over 10 minutes to deliver their satellites into orbit. As seen here, the rockets are stored and deployed from the underside of the vintage trijet, which bears the name Stargazer. In 2015, Orbital merged with ATK into Orbital ATK, and Northrop Grumman inherited the L-1011 in 2018 when it acquired this company. With the aircraft's 50th birthday nearing, November 140 Sierra Charlie isn't getting any younger, and it seems its days may be numbered. Indeed, tracking data from RadarBox.com shows that its last flight took it from Goodyear, Arizona to Mojave, California, with the latter being known, among other things, as a storage location and boneyard for retired aircraft. It'll be interesting to see what happens next. What do you make of the last remaining Lockheed L-1011? For our older viewers, did you ever fly on the TriStar back in the day? Let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments section. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.